Hi, my name is Suzanne Foss. I'm the product manager for ArcGIS Analytics for IoT, and today I'd like to show you some things we're working on with the state of California. The California Department of Toxic Substances Control is charged with protecting Californians and their environment from exposure to hazardous waste. And this includes substances from iron and steel production, lead processing, and more. And like many states, there's thousands of industrial and manufacturing organizations that can generate toxic substances. One of the department's primary responsibilities is managing and monitoring the transport of waste to disposal facilities. Today, the department receives only high-level manifest information about hazmat transport, which includes where and when the waste left the generation site and when it got to the disposal site. The problem with this kind of high-level information is that it doesn't illuminate the actual routes taken by the hazmat trucks and where these hazardous materials might be traveling through our communities. Today, Esri is collaborating with the DTSE to address these needs through the power of location in the Internet of Things. Going forward, as hazmat generators equip their fleets with tracking devices, this rich, real-time movement data can be seamlessly and securely integrated with Analytics for IoT. ArcGIS Analytics for IoT is a new real-time and big data capability for Esri's geospatial cloud. It enables you to easily build feeds and analytics, which ingest, transform, and analyze data, and take action along the way. It's a hosted and managed SaaS, so you can get immediately to work with your IoT sensor data. Now, to bring in real-time tracks from vehicles and assets, you can get started by creating a feed. A feed is a continuous cloud-hosted service that lets you connect ArcGIS to IoT systems like cloud platforms and web and messaging brokers and light up your maps with streaming information. And you can use this real-time information to derive insight and take action. Part of DTSC's mission is to protect sensitive locations from exposure to waste. So one of the things they want to ask is whether these hazmat trucks are coming too close to schools and hospitals. And this kind of information is useful for the transporters as well to understand where waste is while they're responsible for it. And we can use this new cloud-based system to help with these kinds of monitoring activities. Analytics for IoT is an engine for geofencing, incident detection, and pattern analysis in real time or over time. Real time and big data analytics are easy to put together. You can build an end-to-end -end process in minutes without writing a single line of code. This real-time analytic is geofencing those streaming track observations against schools and hospitals. Now, to get a sense of how this works under the hood, let's follow a single truck as an example. On each of thousands of streaming truck observations, the real-time analytic is doing what you're seeing here, searching for schools and hospitals in a given radius, enriching the truck position with the distance to that location, and firing an alert if the truck is too close. And this hosted analytical service can be set to automatically send an email or a text message when geofencing incidents happen. Now, there's over 10,000 schools and hospitals in California. And these real-time truck positions are coming in at the rate of thousands of events a second. Overall, this real-time analytic is producing these geofence alerts at the rate of hundreds of thousands of calculations every minute. And that's possible because Analytics for IoT is based on Kubernetes architecture, so we can scale to massive velocities and volumes of data. Analytics for IoT brings real-time and big data capabilities as a service to Esri's geospatial cloud. It's hosted and managed for you with configurable analytics that you can put together in minutes and hours instead of weeks and months. And we're looking forward to working with you to unlock the power of location in your IoT.